if you only knew the power of the dark side. Welcome back to the channel. It is the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McLeod. Now, I'm going to play a clip and then I'm going to chime in. After I turn up the volume. <laughs> nice. There were totals being hit that were like out of this world. The, there were insane bench presses. There was one guy who did a 930 bench press in a shirt, which is just insane. Like shirt or not, that's hardcore. And it was a lot of world-class stuff. A lot of records were being broken. There was, I mean, this was a world's qualifier, you know? So it was the best of the best that showed up here. And honestly, I can't recommend- <laughs> No. You heard everything he said. It was the steroid of the steroids who showed up there, right? <laughs> Allegedly, possibly. <laughs> yeah. Listen, people. In the, er in the era of the fake natty, you don't become the elite, the cream of the crop, the best of the best, the, uh, the, the highest on the top of the mountain, the strongest in the gym, the baddest man on the planet is exempt from that because me being the baddest man is just being the baddest motherfucker you know what i'm saying in all facets but at this level that he's talking about on this bench press you don't become the the guy who benches 900 plus in a shirt or no shirt insane amounts of strength breaking records left and right that only happens one way alternative fuel sources I've said it once and damn it I'll say it again alternative fuel sources you all know what that means by now if you are a avid hater of the channel you know what alternative fuel sources means it's not natural not at all now he says earlier in this video, oh, I just found out about this meet on a uh, Monday and, uh, <laughs> and I'm here now and I just broke a world record. What, what does that, that further proves my point. Th there's something sinister going on here. This isn't natural for all you fanboys out there who's, oh my God, you're just so amazing. Oh, you really are. Yeah, yeah, shut up. You give enough of that alternative fuel source to anyone. Bad genetics are not. They're going to be doing things that other people just simply cannot do. This is proof right here. This further proves my point that I've been making for the longest. All of you out there thinking that your conjugate visit training program is what's giving you these gains. Your linear progression program is giving you these insane gains in a few months. You know what I'm saying? Rather than the years and the hard work that goes into this grind of bench pressing, dead lifting, squatting, curling, overhead pressing, fucking movement called the gym. This further proves my point. Like like in the UFC, for instance, we got we got all these guys are on drugs now. We know that. To be an elite top fighter, elite top baseball player, basketball player, NFL. You're taking shit, all right? There is no elite genetic. They just, oh, this guy just has these blessed genetics. Some people are better at building muscle than others. That's all it is. But that doesn't make you this elite. I'm the baddest. I'm the strongest. I got this world record on the whole world, on the whole Canadian population. <laughs> I just happen to be the strongest one. Shut up. Ridiculousness. In the UFC, let me get back to my point. John Jones, for instance, got busted for steroid uses, right? Allegedly, possibly, right? And then they replaced him with who? No one, no one other than Brock Lesnar. <laughs> this guy eats steroids. Are you kidding me? You replace John Jones because he tested positive, allegedly, possibly for some substance. And then you replace him with Brock Lesnar. The dude's a walking roid. Okay, what? But if, you know, like, how? I, what? So you, see, I, I've seen pictures of Brock Lesnar in, in like elementary school, high school. He got on a wrestling team. He just blew up and became this monster. 
Was it an Alpha Destiny type program that blew him up? Was it? Go watch the uh, the bio uh, documentary on Brock Lesnar. It's old as hell now, but watch that thing. They'll show you him growing up. He was a skinny little kid, but barely 125 pounds soaking wet. Now he's a 325 pound walking monster. You know what I'm saying? Was it a, a Alpha Destiny style program? Huh? Huh? Wake up. Or was it something else? Something else that got him to that level? I mean, come on, people, wake up. Like, how dumb are you? I understand if this is your hero and you're just mad because I'm exposing your hero and you can care less if he's on stuff, but I'm seeing that people actually believe that there's a natural element to this thing here. <laughs> there's not. I've said it once and I said it again. Alternative fuel sources are at play. Hmm. It seems so elementary, my dear Watson. Why can't some of these people in the populace just understand that not everything is as it seems, right? I don't know, you know, like I say, common sense is not all that common. This video just proves it. Going to a powerlifting meet, so you're telling me all these guys in this federation are just natural? This is a big natural federation? We all know that even that, the, the so-called natural federations are natural. The guys take stuff all through their training leading up to it. They, you know, they detox with the little, the little things they do. You know, they, they only use certain things that can't be found in the P-test. There are ways to get around it. But it's there. It's there. It's there. Now, I'm not saying that every every single person, because there are some federations out there, there are some guys who are naive as fuck, and they think they're going to go in because they're like a fanboy of someone like this, and they go in and they think, okay, I'm just going to work hard, and I'm going to get that number one spot, yeah, and then they get there and they get like 55th place. <laughs> they come in dead last. Why? Because they're not doing what everyone else is doing. And they thought for some strange reason that all they had to do was show up because they did, you know, two two months of linear progressive training because the guy that I idolize on the internet, you know, one week, you know, he's he's cutting, then the day three weeks later, you know, he's he's breaking records. Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> that's my phone again. <laughs> yeah. He's breaking records. This is ridiculousness at its highest level. And I know you guys are triggered, and I advise you leave a triggered comment down below. And it's funny because I like reading it. I like watching you kids squirm in your seats. When you when you see me sit here with one of my so-called just, this is just a pointless video. <laughs> Shut up, idiot. You're triggered because the truth has been spoken. And it will continue to be spoken. And this channel will build itself up. And then everyone will hear me speak the truth. Hey, there's alternative fuel sources at play. That's just how it is. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I am subliminally in your mind. So until next time, get to the gym, do work, and muscle up. Series, cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes My lyrics explode on contact, came in you hoes Who else but mama's only son? Put the phony niggas on the phone Say my name, watch bitches come Now fire when ready, stay watching now